So, we have explored the concept of, uh, of beauty, we have challenged our eyes and noses, and we have uh, learned how we perceive beauty on a neurological level. However, it wouldn't be complete if we also don't let our taste buds experience beauty. In just a minute, uh, we'll introduce you to a true pâtissier artist, Jean Charles, which is accompanied by Sayura Nagoya on pianoforte, which they will be installing in just a second, and Frederic Hildebrandt on viola da gamba. Um, we will first distribute uh, boxes with uh, four cakes in it. You can uh, see them uh, there next to the stage. Um, and once everyone, uh, every bubble, uh, I'll clarify that. So per bubble, uh, you'll receive a box with four cakes. Uh, once that is done, uh, Jean Charles uh, will explain the inspiration for each of the cakes uh, on the tones of uh, the four seasons. Don't start eating yet, uh, but wait uh, until everyone has a box so we can experience them uh, together. Good evening. Uh, I am Jean Charles Akin, uh, chef pâtissier of uh, Maison Zac. I'm very glad to see you tonight. I will present to you um, my interpretation of Four Seasons because uh, for me, beauty is something with an uh, um, ephemeral aspect. Um, and the, the taste for me is also kind of beauty because we could have a structures and, uh, and a structures in uh, the concept of beauty. Tonight, I will present you uh, my interpretation of Four Seasons, which I uh, interpret with uh, Sayori Nagoya, which is pianist, and Frédéric Hildebrand after. You have, uh, you will see like a rose with uh, a small flower, it will be calamansi tart, which is, uh, calamansi's uh, really represent uh, the summer, because uh, actually it's from Filipina, and it's uh, really one of a uh, kind of agrumi who is during the summer. The, you will see uh, this one with a small rose uh, with almond of avola and uh, inside it will be a vanilla from Madagascar with a cream of vanilla and chocolate which uh, I uh, make by myself in white to, um, to combine perfectly the structure of uh, winter because winter is something warm. Uh, for the autumn, you will have a Mont Blanc, which is a specialty who you could find in Italy or France. It's a chestnut from Aubagne. It's a very charming area. And uh, this uh, chestnut is really uh, warm. You will find inside also uh, a kind of cream, uh, because I make, uh, we say ganache monté in French, but I don't know the word in English, sorry. Uh, and a, chest, a chestnut which I confit and uh, in the tart inside you will have uh, the, um, the nuts from Piemonte and the almond of uh, Avola which I, conf uh, which I uh, reduce with a caramel uh, I'm from uh, my family from Bretagne in France so I make like very uh, Bretagne way and the, for the spring, I make coin vert, which is uh, from the strawberry from your country, which is very incredible, from Wepion. I reduce it with uh, confit with um, a pepper of tinmut, a passion fruit from Equator. I make a cream, and you will find a crusty from pistachio di Brante. So please enjoy it. And I wish you a very good evening. Now I will give you the relay to Frédéric Hildebrand and Sayuri Nagoya. Thank you. Hello. So we're going to, together with Jean Charles, try to have you discover through the senses of taste and hearing, uh, the idea of the four seasons. Uh, we're going to start with autumn, which is in your little box. It's the Mont Blanc. And uh, for this, I've been going to play a piece by a French Baroque composer named Marin Marais. It's a piece called Les Voix Humaines. Uh, my instrument is the Viola da Gamba, which is kind of like an old cousin of the cello. It was very popular in Europe up until the end of the 18th century. 
and uh, after that I'll present the piano as well.
I hope you enjoyed the autumn, uh, literally. Uh, the next cake is the winter cake, which is in this case vanilla flavored. To this, we're going to play a little arrangement of the Largo from Vivaldi's Four Seasons Winter. Um, normally, when you think of this movement and this uh, concerto, the winter, uh, it's about snow, but it's actually about rain and the idea of sitting inside a warm, comfy house while the rain falls outside. I hope you enjoy this next cake and this next season. So back a bit to the instruments. The piano that Sayuri is playing may look a bit strange to most of you, I think. It's because it's a very, it's what today we would call a pianoforte rather than a piano. And it's a model from the first decade of the 19th century, so around 1805, 1810. So uh, young Beethoven would have known this type of instrument, for example. and. Uh, yeah, I'm personally playing on gut strings. This is sheep gut. And I do apologize for the slight tuning problems. We're not really made for, for outdoors concerts in this type of weather. They're very sensitive to temperature and humidity. So I do apologize that I will have to tune a bit more than usual. The next season is spring. And uh, the cake 
is the green one that you have, which is a strawberry flavored cake. And of course, when you think of spring, you think of romance and love and walks by the sand in Paris and things like this. And so we thought, why not go completely romantic with a piece by Edward Elgar, Salut d'amour. So to our final piece, which is summer. I hope it will give you a bit of warmth with the wonderful calamansi lemon cake, the, hopefully the last one that you have left. Um, with this, we wanted to play something a bit more intense, summer around here, and especially uh, further south in Europe, tends to be very heavy, very warm, quite humid. So we wanted to contrast the brightness of the lemon with uh, something more minor, something more intense. So it's going to be an allegro from a sonata for Viola da Gamba and keyboard by Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> 